Hello everyone, uh, here's my new reformer. It's uh, slightly bigger than the previous one. Here's a stream and it's capable of about uh, 100 liters of oil a day. I would say in 10 hours or something. Uh, I'm running it for about an hour. Almost processed 20 liters of uh, old transmission oil mixed with dirty diesel and engine oil as well so here's the reformer it's about 1 meter 40 tall the temperature 303 degrees these are some light fractions coming out uh, and this bottle is for petrol fractions but so far we don't have anything uh, in case to get some petrol we have to run it at about 450 degrees so decrease the stream and make it work more like a, a pyrolysis apparatus rather than reforming apparatus but anyway uh, here's an oil that we've got see a layer bubble coming through So it's automatic transmission oil mixed with a uh, little bit of spoiled dirty diesel that's been mixed with uh, motor oil, used motor oil, so it's uh, some sort of mix. Sometimes it fluctuates. There's some moisture or water within the mix gets into the oil, into the reformer. It creates like explosion, a lot of steam that actually pushes all the oil from the um, oil trap, this oil trap. Pushes everything out. It's quite windy as usual uh, I use my portable water cooler to cool the running water to cool the water that runs through the reformer to cool it down is a needle valve for precise control of the flow of the oil of the oil supply is one of the traps for the light fractions for the kerosene another one for liguarine and the top one for petrol but there's no petrol because running at quite low temperature this is the stuff we're getting it's still not re really transparent it still needs to be uh, Process is reagent, but it's already it's quite clean. It's quite clean, much cleaner than the oil we are processing. So here is our stream, and we're processing about 10 liters per hour. Continuous processor. So here we've got a little bit of light fraction. There's another light fraction here. a 
de forma and here's the temperature and this temperature actually reflects the temperature of the vapor at the point of condensation so at the very point where it condenses the most within the system and here's our oil it's black of an oil, you can see it Is a steady stream. Now uh, I'll try to explain a bit how to run this system. Um, the system consists of uh, reforming tower, um, few heat exchangers that actually condenses all the vapor and heat exchangers got some liquid traps at the bottom to prevent any uh, uh, gases to escape. So to create some kind of positive pressure within the system now to start before you switch it on to electricity you have to make sure that the water supply here we've got a water supply it's a portable water cooler uh, water supply is running through the system running through all the uh, heat exchangers so everything is cooled down the second thing we've got uh, oil supply and his uh, uh, oil flow control valve it's a needle valve for precise control so you have to open it up and prime the system a little bit so to make sure there's some oil inside about two three hundred grams or three hundred milliliters of oil within the system is the temperature control this could be any other one digital temperature control so we've got the, an equilibrium right now Showing 294 constantly, 95 it's just fluctuates within one degree. Uh, so once you supply a little bit of oil into the system, switch it on and wait until the temperature rises to approximately 200, 220 degrees, and then you would notice that you already start to get some oil coming out some production and during this time you can try to increase the flow uh, open the wealth and uh, is a wealth and uh, supply a little bit at the same time just check the uh, thermometer what it shows now it just jumps up a little bit it's not a big deal not a problem uh, so the temperature should rise steadily not really rapidly but steadily until certain point uh, the temperature can start to drop down af after a while this is not because of too much of oil supplied but sometimes it's because it's not enough oil supplied and uh, this particular outlet that designed for lighter fractions is also uh, an outlet for the gas that coming out of the system if you'll see some smoking out of this pipe that means you supply not enough it's burning inside so you have to increase the flow but if there is no smoke but and the temperature is still going down that means you're supplying too much so you have to find the equilibrium between uh, too much and not too much 